Well, it looks like NASA's getting a stellar makeover, courtesy of President Donald Trump, also known as Commander in Chief. That's right. The biggest budget cut to NASA in American history is crash landing right into Florida's space coast like a drunk alien looking for directions to Mar-a-Lago. Trump's new space philosophy is simple. Do more with less and make it look like you meant to. Forget the Artemis missions, those pesky billion dollar moon trips are just getting the axe after Artemis 3. And why? Because apparently after three flights, we've seen enough of the moon. It's just a big gray rock, folks. Tremendous rock, boring rock, sad. SLS and Orion retired. And don't worry, they'll be replaced by cost-effective next-gen commercial systems, which is political code for, we have no idea, but Elon probably tweeted something cool about it. So what happens to the Florida Space Coast? Oh, just the small inconvenience of a few thousand job losses, again. You remember how great it was when the space shuttle program ended? Titusville turned into a ghost town with better weather. The only thing launching was despair. Meanwhile, SpaceX and Blue Origin are probably doing cartwheels on the beach. NASA's out. Great. More room for Jeff's penis rockets. Musk will now be the de facto NASA director, unless Trump appoints Kanye again. And remember that $93 billion already spent on Artemis? That's just being tossed in the Florida breeze like a Cape Canaveral confetti cannon. Oh, and the Gateway Lunar Station? Canceled too. But hey, we can repurpose the pieces. Maybe turn them into a Trump-branded moon hotel. moon -a -Lago. All craters and no class. Also getting cut? Climate research. Because why waste money on studying the planet we're destroying when we can theoretically escape to Mars for the low, low cost of another trillion? Makes sense. But don't worry. This isn't about cutting jobs or killing dreams. This is about focusing on the core mission. And that mission? Making sure America still has rockets that look good on Fox News. So congratulations, Space Coast. You're now officially the set of Mad Max Launchpad Edition. Good luck out there. And remember, when the last Artemis rocket lifts off, it might just be carrying your hopes, dreams, and possibly your job. But hey, America first, right?